everybody and welcome back to my channel for this Sunday morning, afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at. And today I've got an article for you from the Sun newspaper here in the UK and the headline reads, Physically sick, horrifying moment autistic girl aged 11 is left bloodied after she is kicked and stamped on by pupils outside of school. There is a video of this uh, incident happening but I don't really want to play it. And it says, Bullies snatched the girls' glasses and threw them onto the road during the attack. This is the shocking moment when an 11-year-old autistic schoolgirl was attacked in Manchester. The attack was so brutal that the victim's mum was made physically sick and thought that her child might die. And then there's pictures of the child, of it being posted onto social media, which obviously I don't really want to show, but I will link it down in the video description. It says the victim was walking to McDonald's after school as a group of girls followed her, her mum said. Footage shows another uniformed schoolgirl begun to punch the girl before the victim falls to the ground. Her glasses were pulled off and thrown into the road. The bully then furiously punches the girl in the head for another 10 seconds in a brutal attack and finishes with a kick. A clip of the attack was then shared to social media. Greater Manchester Police confirmed officers are investigating the incident and had been in touch with the victim and her family. The mum said she believes her daughter could have died and was left with a broken nose, two black eyes, an injury the size of a fist to her back and cuts and bruises. She says her daughter has autism and ADHD and is partially sighted, was on her way to McDonald's after school last Wednesday. Mum says she usually picked her daughter up from school, but had allowed her to have the excursion of now that she's growing older. The mum of the mum said a gang of girls followed her to the fast food joint near the school, taunting her. The victim then went and found her older sister and was leaning against street railings when the girls caught up with her. The mum said at first they were all saying. Do you think you could fight? She was saying, I don't want to fight. She couldn't even defend herself. They dragged her to the floor and were stamping on her, kicking her in the head. They were punching her. No one helped her. I was physically sick when I had to watch the video. The mum said eventually security ran over and helped her daughter before alerting her. A fundraiser has now been launched to raise money for the victim, with the proceeds going towards Taylor Swift concert tickets and a night away. Almost half of British parents worry about their child being bullied online, according to research. A study of 2,000 mums and dads of kids aged 5 to 18 uncovered parents worried about bullying on a daily basis. Almost a quarter, 24%, said their child had been bullied either online or in real life. Yep, yeah, that's the end of the article. So, from my autistic perspective... This is absolutely horrendous. This is really bad. The fact that autistic people and people with ADHD and partially sighted vision problems are being made targets and being mistreated by being kicked in the head, stamped on, kicked, thrown to the ground so violently. And obviously this is going to give her mental trauma. This is going to give her lack of confidence. This is going to scare her probably in the future for walking her neuro. She's probably going to have to now get her mum to start picking her back up again because she'll be scared of being followed again. This shouldn't be happening in broad daylight. This shouldn't be allowed to happen. And the fact that, obviously, the girl is neurodiversely different from the other girls who decided to bully her, it's just disgusting that, again, autistic people like myself are being bashed, bullied, judged, picked on, kicked, spat on, whatever these people seem to do. And the fact that they shared the clip to social media is sick it's twisted it's evil it's sick it's menacing it's threatening it's just why would you share a video of yourself beating a person up what grounds do you get what thrill do you get what satisfaction on earth can you get from beating up a autistic neurodiverse adhd -er person what gives you the thrill and the right to do this to this poor innocent girl who's now going to have mental scars, physical scars, you've given her a broken nose and a black eye. How disgusting is that? 
come on. Like, why would you do that to someone who is obviously weaker than you and obviously can't defend themselves and speak up for themselves? The fact that there is no one to protect this autistic girl and ADHD girl, there should have been someone there witnessing this. There should, there should be CCTV in the area covering it. I know the police have made contact now with the mum and the girl in question who got beaten up, but it took them, what, until afterwards to see that there was criminal damage done and the fact that the girl was left with a broken nose and black eye. Like, seriously? Why weren't these girls chased off or kept behind till the police got to the restaurant or the girls were made to, you know, disappear? Like... Again, this screams that people with disabilities are worth nothing because, again, an innocent girl has had to have her life destroyed and her reputation damaged for absolute nothing because these insecure people who decided to beat her up decided that they think they're big or better than her. And it's just, it's just disgusting. It shows that autism, again, is taken as a weakness and it's taken as something, oh, well... You know, we'll just beat this person up. You know, we'll give them a kick in and a hide in and, you know. No, this needs to stop. This is so, so common now. I've reported on many stories across the UK, the US, Canada, Australia that I've reported on that students with autism are being abused and neglected and treated wrongfully. This needs to end. There needs to be some form of protection, law, some kind of policy put in place to protect neurodiverse people in schools in work in college because if this doesn't end now it's going to end with someone's death on their hands and that's when the criminal justice system really has mucked up we need to have better precautions for neurodiverse people to stop them getting attacked to stop them becoming a target and this isn't going to end until something severe happens like someone loses their life or someone goes and gets you know someone ends up having a psychological issue or a mental health breakdown. When is enough enough? Seriously. I will link the article down below in the video description. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comment section. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.